This is Dr. Eric Osansky, and in this video, I'm going to discuss the ideal vitamin D reference range for optimal immune system health. This information will be especially important for those with autoimmune conditions, but of course it will benefit anyone looking to have a healthy immune system. If you want to learn even more about vitamin D and other test results, please make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell below to get notified every single time I post a new video. Before I begin, I just want to remind you that the main reason I put together these videos is to help people with different types of autoimmune conditions and other health issues better understand their test results so that they can find or remove their triggers, correct any underlying imbalances, and feel great again. Before going over the reference range, I want to quickly discuss why vitamin D is important for a healthy immune system. First of all, just about every tissue and cell in your body has vitamin D receptors. And while many people are aware of the importance of vitamin D when it comes to bone health, numerous studies show that vitamin D plays an important role in modulating the immune system and reducing inflammation. The research shows that a vitamin D deficiency is a risk factor for developing an autoimmune condition. With autoimmunity, one of the things we see are pro-inflammatory cytokines which promote inflammation. And the research shows that vitamin D reduces these pro-inflammatory cytokines. Regulatory T cells, also known as Tregs, they suppress autoimmunity. So you want to have a high number of regulatory T cells and fortunately, vitamin D helps to increase these regulatory T cells. So hopefully you understand that if you have any type of autoimmune condition, you need healthy vitamin D levels if you want to improve your health and achieve a state of remission. But how about those people who don't have an autoimmune condition? Of course, anyone who is looking to achieve optimal immune system health needs to have healthy vitamin D levels. I'm not suggesting that having healthy vitamin D levels is the only factor in achieving optimal immune system health, but I think it's safe to say that you can have a healthy immune system if you have less than optimal vitamin D levels. So with that being said, let's talk about the lab range versus the optimal range of vitamin D. First of all, it's important that you test for 25 hydroxy vitamin D and not 125 dihydroxy vitamin D. If you want more information on this, you can check out one of my other videos where I discuss this. Regarding the lab reference range, many labs have a reference range between 30 and 100 nanograms per milliliter, although this will vary depending on the lab, as some labs will have a range between 30 and 80 nanograms per milliliter, while others will have a range between 20 and 100 nanograms per milliliter. So just keep in mind that the lower end of the range relates to bone health. And so for example, if someone gets a 25 hydroxy vitamin D test and their level is 35 nanograms per milliliter, this might be fine for bone health, but it's not ideal for someone who's looking to achieve optimal immune system health. For optimal immune system health, the optimal range of 25 hydroxy vitamin D should be somewhere between 50 and 80 nanograms per milliliter. Now, some practitioners recommend for levels to be 50 nanograms per milliliter or above for optimal immune system health, while others will recommend for levels to be between 60 and 80 nanograms per milliliter. I personally test my vitamin D levels at least once per year, and my levels are usually in the upper 50s or lower 60s, which I'm very happy with. It's also worth mentioning that if you live outside of the United States, labs commonly use the units nanomoles per liter, and 50 nanograms per milliliter is equal to 125 nanomoles per liter. If you want to check out some vitamin D reports so you can see actual examples of the different ranges, I put together a comprehensive video on vitamin D you might want to check out. The next question you might have is, how do you get your vitamin D levels between 50 and 80 nanograms per milliliter? If you click on the video below, you'll be taken to a different video where I discuss how to boost your vitamin D levels so that you can achieve optimal immune system health. Also, if you found this information to be valuable, before clicking on that other video, please like this current video below. And if you have any questions about vitamin D reference ranges, please feel free to ask your question below, and I'll catch you on the next video.